Welcome to the Egyptian campaign for Davidi at Empera 1.2. In the last part we came up and had a little bit of a scrappy battle against Medlam here. And I made a mistake which I realised after I finished the video with the fact that I was building another barracks here and I don't really need another barracks. I think I, th I was thinking of that I was playing the Roman campaign where you can build auxiliary barracks anyway. Um, How can I assist Pharaoh? Yeah, On the move, my lord. Get him out. Can't actually do anything, but that might actually improve the public order here. Yep. And over here we had a pretty good battle against these guys and wrecked a quite a substantial Roman army but it did in cause a little bit of damage battle? to this army although it seems to have recovered a little bit and what I also got up here is my agent I, I need to keep an eye on this area because I'm kind of half thinking now maybe it's time to push out this way and we could go for the Magetta here and take these settlements here and take this province here because the reason for that guys is we're now very much on the downhill slope you can see here we've got all the key provinces except Bactria and I need another 12 regions to get the military victory I don't know this one's still completely open uh, Patava well I could take that area there and fill this in but of course we haven't got the all the other stuff here we haven't got the Ptolemaic temple complex not even sure where that is actually um, let's see out of curiosity Ptolemaic temple complex I suppose we would have to go to a level 4 to get a Ptolemaic um, temple complex and that means we have to go to that yeah, that opens up the Seraphon. I don't know if that's anything higher than that. Anyway, let's deal with unfinished business on the last part, and that is we're going to come up here and take Tagestia. Let them cower before our might. And I think we're going to fight this same rules as ever the casualties as low as possible oops, then you could auto-resolve oh, I don't know ah, this is actually very very similar to the the starter one yep, got a kill zone up there It's here. I'll put them on fire. fire. This area here. Ready for orders. Ready. Got three Ready sets of pikes. Here. You can put there. I'm going to keep them quite deep. I think. I think maybe I've been putting them a little bit too shallow recently. I don't need a massively wide front. This hoplites. I think you guys can just fit in that corner there. And Archers! I think what we will do is have archers up here and grab some archers across the front. Slingers side there. And we have the cavalry out that way. You guys need a little bit of defense. We've got that one that brings in a lot and lot of swordsmen. Okay. And 
couple of axemen out on this flank. A couple of swordsmen as well. That leaves just the one swordsman who I think will support the centre. Okay, a bit of a weird layout, but I think we'll be okay. And get us out that way. area here. Retreating. Okay, I'm not a bit sure what's actually going on here. The AI's had a little bit of a glitch there. Guys are dying completely. Ready to march. Our orders. These guys are coming around this way, so. Quick on at speed. Attack the Italian swordsman coming in this way. Okay. Back off skirmish mode. Archers back. Skirmish mode. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Cavalry up there. General who stays support there. Got here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I told you to get back. Idiots. Understood. Orders, my lord. Okay. Right, these guys are out of ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Quarantines after these. It's by Axman. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Attack their position. Okay. General up here. Archers, your orders. Gotta shoot these guys. This way. Cavalry. Attack 
Attack their position! Boxes. Okay, stand way over there. I think you guys have finished. Guys around here. A bit like shooting fish in a barrel, but our general is under attack. Yeah. Go stand way over there as well. You guys have finished as well. Charge. Out. Those guys are breaking. Don't really have anything this general that will actually make a difference. Yeah. I think that is it. End battle. We lost 120. 16 to friendly fire. It was a bit better but managing the friendly fire there. The, you can see the artillery with the fact that the AI the garrison went up and then came back again. Look at that, 303 kills, 84, 184. Yeah, we took the garrison down. At your command. Defenders of the two lands. Certainly gonna. Oh, we've got wood. I don't think I've actually got any wood here. Uh, certainly don't need that. And I think we will probably put a temple here. We don't really need a couple of them. We could probably do is take that up actually to get the conversion going. At your service. And I think this agent already are here. Now that's a very tempting target. I think we'll keep the agent up round here just to see what's going. Very, very tempting to go after Noretia. But that would leave this area, which is not stable. If I can take that, that will pin this this area here. The only problem is we would have to come back this way. We'd have to take Octodurin. Okay, something to think about in the future. And the other thing I did think about, guys, is that I think maybe it's time to to raise a navy here. And yeah, fleet-wise, this guy here with our new dynasty commander's fleet here. Maybe we, we have a fleet here, yeah, pride of the two lands. Ready for orders. Ships to port. Recruit units, what could we get here? I certainly want the supply ship. Ships. Part of your job is going to be. Um, the idea is that I'm going to build a small navy up here because this is any really serious naval action is going to happen up here. And we may have to cross the water to build a bastion there. Hey guys, I think that's all we can do this turn. As I say, we've got up to here. We've now opened up this area here. And of course, we've got this army down here with oh, our four star general. So I think we're just going to go for an end turn. Oops.
loads of tradition, sorts of other stuff here. Okay. Defenders of the two plans. You've got a general. Oh, we got some traditions here. Certainly want the campaign movement range. Oh, I'm certainly going to double down on that. And certainly want the knight commander. And what can we else can we get here? Don't have any elephant units. That's to do with ships. I think that could be quite useful. Drinking companion, plus five percent more defense. Elite skill for all units. It's a raiding fleet. About like seven five percent against Rome. That could be useful. Yeah. And we got the pride of bass over here. Oh, you had a fairly tough battle, so I think we'll take that up and take that up. So then we've got movement range. Well, got an increase in rank. The exchange exposed, got an attrition report, supplies. Increase of rank now. If I'm correctly down here, I was. I knocked this down. That back up. I need to do that sort of straight away. So these guys are now fighting the Romans. That's nice. Thank you. Got to remember that I'm not the Romans in this part. Wow, what a construction report. Okay. First things first. I think. If I replace this general. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're, you must be training. Plus performing actions. Okay. Get you down here. Very inclined to put my. Just so you can get a little bit of experience. For honor and great glory. You can swap him back later on. Advance. Elephants here. What's this army here? Couple of cavalry. Okay, let's have some fun, guys. Ready for Run them I wouldn't normally fight this battle, but I haven't actually ever used elephants yet, so. Let's, let's have a bit of fun. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's no risk if I mess things up. I mean, this is just simple. It's got to be treat. I mean, I've got a few reasonable units here. Okay. Right, we're set right back here. We're going to have to push on to them, which is a rare battle for me. Okay. They've got a couple of cavalry units, so we're going to have to be a bit careful about those. And I think we'll have our... Here. Elephants in the background. We we'll have our current cavalry up the back here. And we have our we're actually attacking now, so guys in front. Got left. And I think I have the this side by supporting that flank. Nobody left behind, okay. One thing I do want to do is get out of the trees. So that we can actually see. It looks like they're still gonna come at us, so okay. 
elephants Whittling you back down into the trees. Right, they're taking up a position. Right, let's redraw the pike line. We await your orders. Tarantines this way. At the ready. Let's get you guys up onto the bank. I'm gonna take these guys a little way. Time to form up. Slingers! Slingers, archers, wood. They're waiting for us. Form up the lines outside the trees. General! General, eight. up this line. Keep. Fire! We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Pikes, they're coming at us. Archers fall back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yes, Commander. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Guys, off. Our general is under attack. Right, these guys are broken. General out. Yes. Elephants, wherefore art thou? Elephants out already. Forward. Missile. Out of double. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Archers put back. Slingers, I want you up on this flank. Right, elephants. Let's come on to this flank. Guys, chase these guys off. Got it down. One of our units has gone berserk. Ah. That's why you use elephants well away from your own front lines. used all its ammunition. Elephant units always go berserk very, very quickly. Archers! Archers up there. This guy's back under control. Okay. Elephants. Ready. Tell us. One of our units is the reason why I'm fighting this battle. And 
that's probably one of the better ways to use elephants is quite literally oh, yeah. down my general what's the problem I'm gonna get now is that wait I thought I told you lot to get away as far as possible general, general. Forward. 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 let's run these down because one of the problems we're gonna have now it's the fact that a lot of these guys are going to survive. Then I'm going to have to attack them again. One of our units has used all its ammunition. What are your orders? Let's chase these. Beat this up. Wait. Of course, these guys are winded. And these guys are going to get away. Never mind. We can always have another whack at them. I'd be interested to see how many kills the elephants have got. We lost one elephant, that's pretty good. I've probably killed a lot of my troops to friendly fire, I think that's it. Quick battle. Oh, you got 195 of the elephants, we lost one of them. This is the problem with elephants in, in Davidiette and Pera, they, they do go berserk very, very quickly. And if you're using them close to your own lines, you can damage your own lines just as much. It's like, Is that all, my lord? Um, I live to serve. Wipe them out! Yeah, we we'll just have to do to finish them off next turn with an auto resolve. Which is one of the reasons why I don't like fighting minor battles like that. It's really infuriating. But I suppose it's going to do the public order down here a power of good. Right, I think that's all we can do here. Anyone else? Troubled population in Italia. Motivated population. Ship rights report. This guy's built. Encourage population in Latinum. And we've got loads and loads of their army retreats. Okay. I mean, this guy didn't win a big enough battle to get a promotion by the way. Kind of a bit inclined to come out and check out Otto Durham, but at the moment I don't really want to take it simply because it's just not going to be worth the effort at the moment and it's going to pin down an army, keep it stable. Uh, could build that, that will give us a bit more garrison, a bit more push and I think that can go up give me tier 3 garrison there as well minus 7 food I could convert that farm that would give me a yep maybe we'll go for farming over cash This is looking good. I think we can drop that in there, and of course we've got this army here. I live to serve. Pull out there Have for the moment. Orders. And we will. Oh, wood. Okay, let's put some timber in here. The fun of it. All men. The guys right, guide a couple of Roman Christ. armies here. But I'm also more interested over here. I'm kind of thinking I am on the move. Alva, Poladonia. Trouble is, if I open up this side, an army could slip down here and cause a bit of havoc there. But at the same time, do I need to push? I mean, is this area defended? I think this area is defended well enough now. I think what I'm going to do is start bringing this army over and you can defend this flank 
my lord. Oops. Give this guy here. I think we Are probably need a couple of these guys. No real cavalry here, okay. So you're gonna definitely have to be a defensive garrison. I think we will build up Bleed reporting, my lord. Bleed here a little bit more. We need good strong man. Get that fleet built up. I mean the way I'm thinking guys is this if once I actually push into here, the fleets can actually guard this area as well. Okay. I've got a eighteen thousand, let's just check over here, I haven't looked. Uh, one more turn and you will have the food supply. Maybe we can think about pushing out this way. Moving out and taking this area. To that battle. end, bring this army back. Advance. I mean, it'd be nice to take uh, Nissa, because then that would give me a solid bulk bulkhead there. Guys, uh, like these guys are actually under siege. That could be a problem. We may have a problem. Champion, my Check lord. something out. As you command. I don't rest, but I will stop our I way. would guess that these guys are actually under attack from up here. Yeah, these guys, the Roxolani, are pushing down. So maybe I might need to switch my allegiance. But the trouble is, who's the Roxolani at war with? at war with our friends here so okay uh, just have to see what we can do about them I may need to push another army up into this area but we do need to concentrate on this area so I'm gonna hang on to the catch guys I think I've got enough time for one more a turn just to see what happens got unassigned skills down here. Yes, I kick that off. So. How can I assist Pharaoh? Right. Empire maintenance wealth. Push up the empire maintenance a little bit. Right, this is. That's got a bit of traditions. Certainly. I mean, I can use this stuff here. So, morale, weapons of melee infamous. I think I actually like that, actually. Right. Turn home, Spartacus. Low regional supplies. Over here, guess what I'm saying. One of the members there. Well, we're going to do nothing. We're just going to have to lose the gravitas. I don't think that's going to affect my standing that much. Yeah, we're still 29%. Okay. Now, during the end turn, I actually made peace with the Roxolani because they've now captured Kaith. And. I'm quite happy with that at the moment. I um, live I think to what serve. I'm going to do Pharaoh. now, I'm going to take a bit of a risk here, guys. The gods guide my footsteps. These guys should. Uh, this is now built. So this should now give me a supply line for three regions. This army should Ready now be able to battle. come up and operate up round here a bit. Now. These guys are going to keep pushing down this way. We may have to... Yeah. Against these... These military allies here. But we'll just have to see. These guys won't like us now. 
that much then because we've now because we're a defensive ally with them but if they'd made friends with us earlier on I'd have been happier but what we will do is just push in this way but that's for the future here life is still good I think in Ponth in Yeah, you guys are still Bosran. Not gonna pick any fights here just for the moment. Here we've still got this army, wherever you view are. This way. I think we're gonna keep building you up. We got plenty of cash. Don't want any mercenaries. Got here. Bulgarian axemen. Really could do with some cavalry. Really could do with some spearmen actually. Pikemen. Actually, let's get another pike close. unit. Requires noble men. None of these guys are, are massively over the top with armor. Yeah. Four. I mean, what I want is something that's quite strong in the defensive. Okay. I think we're we'll get a couple of swordsmen. I mean, I don't expect this army to fight. The main role of this army is going to be as a defensive unit. Okay. Look here. And of course, the other thing I need to do while I'm thinking about it. We fight to victory! Take out the trash. And this guy might get a bit of experience. Waiting for more orders. Yep. Now a level two general. At your command. And I want you coming back north now. Again, you're gonna be a predominantly a defensive army. Though I could kick you out with some artillery. Wow. Nice units in here. Okay, uh, let's consider, well, consider re-equipping this army, so we've got th three armies up here, ready to go. And I think that's all I'm going to do militarily this, this turn, guys. We're actually going to have a turn where I'm not actually going to be trying to kill anyone. Uh, public order here is good, everything's so good, what have we got here? Strategic port. Wow. I don't think I really want. Take that up just yet. I mean, I don't want the public order here just at the moment. Right, these guys are unhappy. Why are you unhappy? Building squalor. Just gonna have to keep an eye on this area. There's no benefit from this point of view. Okay. It could be just a quirk of you've got plenty of food, so you can push that up. That gives a bit more. Wealth and entertainment here. And of course over here. How's the how much now we got twenty food? Wow. These guys have actually moved out a little bit. But I'm not gonna build this, it's just a pointless exercise. Uh, I think what I will do is push up the stadia here. Just so that we keep this public order strong in Charax, Drake. Good. And I think we can drop that in there. Keep that going. Minus three food. Eating food. I think we we'll push that up. Oh. 
Yeah, this is oh, this is probably cool, don't. Okay, we're just gonna anyone else with problems? Palmyra. Precinct of Into Inho Temp. But you've got loads and loads of public order here. Actually that's that's actually got quite a lot of public order. Hey, where's that? Don't actually have a temple. Oh, what well, we got here, guys? There's a fail. Twenty thousand. Wow. Yeah, we're going to go with that. I didn't notice that, guys. Not that we're probably ever going to build that. I mean, that's fifteen turns, and I think that kind of brings me on to something I want to talk about, guys. I think we can all accept now that I am now on the downhill slope. We've got eleven more regions to go. Um, we're starting to grind a little bit now so I think what I'm gonna do guys is probably play a few more turns off camera while I consolidate and move armies into positions so that I can kind of move this campaign forward a bit towards a conclusion because obviously I'm now in a situation where we need to push out here against the Sukalids and I think maybe we'll bring up both how these armies. Now, how, how big's the garrison here? 14. We've got lots of small little cyclic armies here. And we've got these troops pushing in as well. Never mind. So, I think I probably will start playing a few turns off camera, push this campaign forward. I think we can take it for granted. Boom, one. The situation's getting a little bit complicated in this area, but I don't think it's going to be that much a problem. In fact, I think once I've got this area settled, most of the action will move up to here. And what we got up over here, I think we've got a little bit of a, some combat going on here. I mean, I've got my friends with a bolly, but I don't think they're nah, they're they're dying. I think so. And I'm not really doing any, them any help at the moment, so you're far cheap. Anyway, but this is where I'm gonna leave it guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting, and until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>